Hello and welcome back to the SKU Savvy YouTube channel where we are demystifying the complexities of everyday e-commerce order fulfillment. In today's tutorial, we're going to go through one of the coolest new features to be launched on SKU Savvy, which is Pick to Tote. Now, if you're not familiar, SKU Savvy is a full warehouse management system designed for high volume e-commerce merchants to fulfill their orders faster, organize inventory, and generally make your warehouse operate smooth as butter. To start, you may have already set up a SKU Savvy account. If you haven't, make sure to get one. And this is kind of at the end of the general process and facilities that SKU Savvy will organize. So you're gonna to wanna to already have a warehouse layout and some inventory within there and then some orders that have come in. We're assuming that you've already got all of those things and are now ready to start fulfilling orders. So to fulfill using the pick to tote method, what you'll do is come into your warehouse, go into orders, fulfill, and down at the bottom, you can see here the unbatched shipments. Now these are shipments that are currently open. They have not been assigned to a batch of orders. And we're gonna go ahead and batch these up so just click on batch and we're gonna use the new pick to tote. And we're just going to indicate and say that we've got six totes. Now what you can envision is a pick cart, let's say with six totes. And if we look at that pick cart, let's just assume that the cart has three levels with two totes side by side on each level. So that's gonna equal six totes. Now this is gonna go through all of the current open shipments and put these into batches of six orders per batch. So as I set this up, I'm not gonna put any other criteria, although you certainly could use order tags, product tags, creation date, uh, and you also could assign it to various employees or just leave it open so that any employee can grab this batch. So we're gonna go ahead, batch these up. Now, SKU Savvy has just gone through the open orders and has created some batches of orders. Uh, and so we're gonna click into one of these batches here. What you're seeing here is the very first screen on the pick to tote method. And basically what this is saying is either to generate a barcode for the cart, right? So we're thinking about the cart as the cart that's holding all of these six totes. So in that case, we're gonna generate a barcode now, if you already have previously used pick to tote and have generated a barcode for your cart, in that case, you could just reassign it by using this assign label, which will then have you scan that cart barcode and that will assign it now to this batch. So since I haven't done that, I'm gonna generate a label and I'm gonna call this, we'll say pick cart one. And now I'm gonna go ahead and print this out. So you'll wanna print this barcode. Boom, we're gonna go ahead and print that out. Now I know you can't exactly see that, but we just printed out the barcode and we're assuming that that is now attached with this pick cart. Now what we're seeing is a normal pick batch, right? We've got a list of items that we're gonna go out and we're gonna start picking them. So we'll just tap into here. Again, you could start using scanning barcode scanning so you could just scan the item or scan the bin then the item uh, and at this point it's going to bring us right into the pick cart so you can imagine your cart has two totes side by side and this is indicating that this is the position for this item so i'm just going to tap on this although you could set your pick cart up by hitting into tote contents and you could print out the barcodes for your totes so there's no need to pre-assign the barcodes. By creating the pick to tote batch, you're automatically setting this up. And so we could go through and print out each individual barcode or just print out all of the barcodes for your totes. And just make sure that the corresponding position here also matches what you have for your pick cart. Now let's just say that the pick cart doesn't quite have this alignment, right? Uh, what you can do is tap into the batch settings and we can make an adjustment to say, oh, actually our pick cart has, you know, just two levels of three totes side by side. 
And by doing that, you'll see now that SKU Savvy has arranged these in a slightly different manner so that they correspond with your pick cart. So we're gonna just go ahead and continue picking through this and we'll fast forward this. But as we start picking, this is just gonna indicate what position the items are gonna go on our cart and just keep bringing us back. Again, remember you could use barcode scanning at this point. Let's see if we can find one here that has two different bins being used, perhaps not. Okay, so these are all just single items. Uh, however, what you would find is if you are using a, or if you're picking through a batch and you have a high quantity of one item to grab, SKU Savvy will indicate that there are two different totes to put those items in, and it will tell you the corresponding quantities of each tote to put that item in. So we've gone through here and now we have picked all of our items. Okay, so here's an example of a item that we've picked and two separate totes are gonna get quantities. So we picked a quantity of two and one is gonna go over here, one is gonna go over here. And excellent, we have picked through all of the contents of this order batch. Now, if we go into our tote contents, we're gonna see that each of these are aligned and shows us exactly what contents should go in each of the totes. Now again, each tote is actually representing one order in this case. So we have gone through, we've picked all of the items and allocated them to our totes. So this is all set to go on to fulfillment now. Uh, in, in the case that you need to unpick, all you would do is just click on unpick. And this is indicating again where exactly we are going to be unpicking from. So right now we have a quantity of one in this tote, and let's just say that I'm gonna unpick one. Boom, we'll remove that. And now we could just pick from a different bin. And again, it's just gonna indicate that we need to allocate one to this tote. So we have gone through, we've picked all of our items. Now let's go through a pack. Now at this point, everything is pretty much the same. Uh, this is just indicating the position of the batch cart that we are going to grab the items for this order. So if you move through these, this will bring us into the corresponding order for that item that we click on in this little grid view here. And you'll notice that if we adjust the number of columns, SKU Savvy will also adjust this to represent what your pick cart would be. That's pretty much all that you need to know about pick to toe. It's a very efficient method of going through and getting your orders picked while being able to allocate those items in each order to the corresponding tote so that when you get to the fulfillment method, things are all efficient and you don't get mixed up with which item it goes into which order and uh, all of that. Hopefully that's helpful. And if you haven't already, make sure to get a free SKU Savvy account app.skewsavvy.com forward slash register. Of course, we always appreciate your support on the channel. Make sure to subscribe and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.